Though I'll primarily be looking at Rx's modules in the standalone application, many of them are also available directly within your DAW. Some will show up as regular real-time plugins, and the ones that don't can easily be transferred from the DAW to Rx standalone and back via the convenient Rx Connect plugin. Rx's plugins are available in all the standard formats, AAX, AU, and VST. Here, in Pro Tools, you can see the list of Rx plugins that appear in the regular real-time plugin menu. As you can see, it's a smaller subset of the large collection we saw in the standalone application. Some of the utility modules would be redundant in a DAW, and some of the more advanced modules don't lend themselves to real-time processing. However, Pro Tools users can access some of those non-real-time plugins via the offline audio suite plugins. If I wanted to run this audio through some of RX's real-time processors, I can simply instantiate them like any plugins and make the appropriate settings. They'll be applied in real time, though some of them might introduce some latency. Make sure you have your DAW's latency compensation on. We're still spinning around, but there's something that's gone. We're still spinning around, but there's something that's gone. If you need to apply some processing in the RX standalone, the RX Connect plugin provides a quick and efficient way to transfer a selection of audio between the DAW and RX. It works a little differently in different DAWs. In Pro Tools, RX Connect shows up as an audio suite plugin. There are two options. Reference simply lets you send the selection to RX standalone, a one-way trip, while Repair lets you send it, process it there, and then return it to Pro Tools, replacing the existing clip. Let's do that. I'll select Repair and hit Send. That section of audio will appear in the RX standalone application, and the tab will indicate that a connection is active with Pro Tools. Now I can process the audio in RX as I normally would, and when I'm done, I can send it back to Pro Tools here. Back in Pro Tools, I'd then hit the Render button, and a new audio file would be created, with the processed audio from RX replacing the selected clip. Note that the original file in this case is untouched. If I thought I might want to revisit that bit of processing, I could also save an RX file, which would include my processing settings and reference the original file, so I could go back and try again if I chose to. If for any reason I was unable to monitor the audio as I worked on it in RX standalone, or if I preferred to monitor it in context in Pro Tools, I could open up another RX utility plugin, RX Monitor, in an AUX, and route the audio from RX standalone through this. In RX's preferences, I'd select RX Monitor, and now the sound will appear in the Pro Tools AUX. We're still spinning around, but there's something that's gone on our way. This might be preferable if say, I had other real-time effects in Pro Tools I wanted to hear applied to the audio as I was processing it in RX. When I want to work with RX standalone again on its own, I just switch the preference back to my usual audio driver. As I said, in other DAWs, things might work a little differently, but it should be equally simple and straightforward. So, when you're working in your preferred DAW, whether you choose to apply RX's processing via real-time plugins when available, or via a quick and easy transfer between the DAW and RX standalone, Isotope's got you covered. Next up, I'll start going through the individual processors, beginning with the D-Clip module.